Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to share a flip through of my completed 2020 December daily album. This album I actually completed at the end of December last year and I just never filmed a flip through of it. So uh, here on the eve of December 1st, 2021, I wanted to go back through the two volumes that consists of all my 2020 stories, share those with you, and then we can start fresh with 2021 starting tomorrow. So let's go ahead through this. I'm going to do my best to uh, tell you where the products came from and where the ideas came from, if they were scrap lifted. However, please know that I do have an entire playlist where all of my process videos for all of the pages in this album are located. So I will direct you there if you're looking for specific questions about specific days. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. So my title page here, I used the large white veneer, uh, white wood veneer, numbers from Allie Edwards. These were from last year's release. I've got a little sprig of pine here tied on and then December stories there at the bottom. That is on a piece of transparency which came from the Allie Edwards December Daily 2020 release as well. Inside of this I've got my reason why which is underneath this swing away triangle tree. Last year the product play a uh, theme that I worked with was triangles. So I used my stamps to create the tree and the trunk at the bottom, typed up my reason why, and then just had it on this really fun swivel. This was part of the product play lesson, which I believe both of these were part of the product play lesson from last year. That would have been product play four. Then we get into the daily stories. So story number one was about a movie date night that my husband and I had watching Hallmark movies. He's not a super big Hallmark movie fan, but I am. And so I get away with uh, having him watch movies with me as long as I label them as date nights. So we had eggnog, we watched on the 12th day of Christmas, and then I've got my journaling about the date night here underneath talking about Thing, you know, trying to find things to do together throughout the month of December while we were still pretty much in lockdown from COVID. Most of the products here came from Feeder Craft. This would have been last year's December collections, the 2020 collection. Story number two was about getting our Christmas tree. This was another another layout that I created for the product play for class. So if you want to see how this is made, that's where you'll be able to check that out. I've got the share, give, love, believe, find peace card from the 2020 main kit from Allie Edwards, as well as my journaling here, a photo of the tree on top of our car. This tree pulls down and is this cascading, um, cascading triangles, I should say. I've got a picture of the tree pine needles, and then I've got this repeat stamped date for the date that we actually went and got the tree, which was November 28th. This is on top of a tree transparency. And then on the back side, I have a picture of Jonah running through the aisles of trees. Day three, or story number three, was our letters to Santa. So for this one, I wrote a letter to Santa that I included. My husband wrote a letter to Santa that I included. And then I also have the kids' letters to Santa, which are securely inside of this envelope right here. So this allows me to look back on those over the course of the years to come. The product for this one also came from Feature Craft. Some of them were from last year. Some of them were from earlier years. I just had a a variety of pages that I could or patterns that I could pull out from my feature craft supplies and then I actually created the Santa shaker using the digital stamp set from feature craft I put this into silhouette and cut the pieces out and then filled his beard with these white iridescent type of sequins 
Then the back side has the picture of the letters going with our with our elf Mary to the North Pole. And then I've got a picture of Izzy writing her letter, a little bit more journaling here, and there's my number. So this one had a lot of moving pieces to that particular story. Story number four was about the new ornaments that we purchased in 2020. This is a tradition that we do every single year. We go to the store, pick out ornaments that kind of represent our year. And then I told the story about what we each pick and why we picked it. Um, on this side, yes. And then underneath here, so each of these flip as well and have a little bit more story to tell underneath the photos. This was another page that I made for Product Play 4 with the theme of triangles where we cut the pattern paper into the triangles to be the stars and the middle portions moved. So really, that was a fun one. I liked that one a lot. This was an idea I had from Allie when I believe she did something like this for her product play class in the texture where she used some texture paste, added one of the plastic circles in the middle of it. I made mine into just kind of a title where it says believing in the magic. It's a rest for the eyes before going into the next story. This one, which is story, I believe this is number four. It's probably on here somewhere. Maybe not. Story number four um, was about having a hot cocoa bar. No, that's not what story number four was. Where was four? Oh, four was the ornaments. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Five. This is all sto story five. So story five, this is where I've added my journaling. I took two of the three by eight cards and cut them down into a tag shape. So I've got lots of journaling here. I've also got an additional three by four that I've added a picture of our elf who brought all of the fixings for our Christmas hot chocolate. On the back side, I've just got a couple of, of embellishments. And then this was an idea from Allie Edwards from the product play class where the pages open to reveal the large photo behind. These are some of my favorite mugs. And actually this one, uh, got smashed that year from my son. So I'm really glad to have a picture of it because it was so, it was so cute. So this just ties in a knot to hold the page closed. And I've got red cup love on top, even though technically it's not a red cup in there, but that's okay. And I did add a little bit of trim here to the side just to give it some texture along the side of the page. Story number six was about the Hallmark movies I was watching this year. I always tell a Hallmark movie story every single year. This right here, the fa la la, fa la la, fa la la, was an idea I got from the Product Play 4 class. This was Lisa Varshine's lesson. And then this window piece over here was from my friend Tashi, although I can't remember if she did this for the Product Play class. It must have been Product Play. I don't believe it was prep party, it was product play. So product play three included this one. The number six is from uh, Color Cast Designs. I added this over here, this tis the season with a little pink circle there just to add in some more decoration. The Hallmark Movie Lover also came from Color Cast. And I've got a picture here where we were watching a movie with our siblings and our parents on Zoom. So we did like a Zoom Hallmark movie party last year. And then this piece comes up. So these are the three movies that I watched last year. And really this one was from Netflix. These two were from Hallmark and that's okay for me. And then I talked, I did a little bit of journaling about what it was like to do a virtual viewing party for Hallmark movies and how much fun we had doing that. Story number seven is about my home decor. This one, I wanted to try something really different and I took a picture of my tree skirt, which is something that my grandmother made. And I actually have it where it swivels out from behind. So this is our tree skirt that I took a picture of and um, it hides away unless you pull it out to look at it, right? Like that. So it's kind of a, a fun little secret inside of this page. Um, I have some journaling here in the middle and then I've added journaling to the triangles here. This, I don't believe this was part of product play, but I did uh, get the idea of using a triangle because triangles were the shape of the year. When you open it up to the inside, you can see the tree there 
with a little bit more journaling at the bottom. And then uh, here at the top, I've got a picture of our stockings. On this side was also our stockings. And then I've got a little bit more about our decorations and places where my grandmother's presence is very much felt. And then I've got the uh, transparency circles going down the side. This was an idea from Allie from Product Play 4. On the back side, I am telling a story about hope. I have a picture of me in front of the Christmas tree with a very frustrated look on my face because it was a very frustrating day. Then uh, the folder over here, which has this kind of fringed inside look to it. This is a really cool, this was a really cool um, page to make. This was part of the prep day from 2020. It was a page that I designed for that one. And then from inside of there, I have a whole page of journaling here with the title, A Thrill of Hope at the top, and then a picture of Jonah and I hugging it out in front of the Christmas tree, which was, as you can maybe guess, part of the frustration was, um, Jonah not going to bed that day. So <laughs> it is what it is, right? Day number nine is my gift and wrapping paper story. So for this one, I've got a picture of the rules with the number nine on top from Colorcast Design. It says to you from me. And then on the left side, I have these four windows that actually on the inside hold um, the real samples of my paper. And then when you pull this up, you can see the gifts that were wrapped in those papers with an additional picture at the bottom. So this was a fun way to be able to include the uh, pieces, if I can get this to go back down, the pieces of my wrapping paper, the actual wrapping paper. Okay. Sometimes after years, there we go. I feel like in hindsight if I were to do this again I would probably stitch around it instead of taping around it because when you have an element that's moving in and out from between pages if there's tape it does tend to stick to that a little bit and it makes it harder to maneuver where things are going to go but otherwise I still really really like this one wrapping all the way was art was um art from the prep day 2020 as was this whole page so this is a page you can totally recreate the templates are all available to you they're inside of the 2020 prep day story number 10 is one that i tell every single year in my album this is 10 things that i am currently loving so 10 loving and this was an idea from ali edwards from the texture lesson inside of product play 4 where she did her basically her her reason why page looked like this I took it and I added two more and then underneath each of them is something that I'm currently loving with journaling as to why. So it's all different things that I am currently loving. This one's really fun and I love the texture that it brings to the page. It is very dimensional, but I still love it a lot. Story number 11 is about a uh, scavenger hunt that we did last year, which was a lights scavenger hunt. So we created a list of 12 different light displays to go and find. And then we competed against our siblings at the same time. So everybody left their home at the same time. And then we drove around to find the light, the lights, uh, light displays, took pictures of them, sent them back and forth to each other. And whoever found all 12 first was the winner. So I have this tree um, page, which was a scrap lifted version of the same page. I don't remember if it was product play one or two. I think it was two actually, trees, trees, um, text, right? And tags, so product play two. Inside of the pocket are some um, journaling. So I've got the actual scavenger hunt list. I've got the story about the ones that we found and then us in the car. And then I've got some, um, a little bit of journaling about our favorite displays. And this one was the battle between two different homes that we found. And that was a total gem. We're going to have to go back again this year and see if they're still battling it out with each other. And then uh, to go with this story, I have this tag booklet that pulls off of the string here in the middle and then it actually opens up 
And inside of here, you can see all of the different displays that we found. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that was a, a fun way to include the photos from the actual day. And then this just kind of like shoves back through here. Maybe I should actually do this the right way. <laughs> but yes, it shoves back through the hole. If I can get it, there we go. And then I just tie it back into place. Maybe I need my... There we go. <laughs> so it goes to the middle there. And then all I have to do is create the bow. I don't even need to make the knot. Um, because it'll the bow itself holds it on. Okay, and that's a piece of um, transparency that I stitched down onto white paper. On the back side of this one is the last story for this album, uh, for this volume, I should say. So story number 12. This was another page that I did for the um, Product Play 4 class with triangles. This one is all about our advent calendar. And basically what happens is you open these up and you can see all of the different things that we got through the month of December. I did a 12 day advent that was a book related advent. That's what all of these ones are on this side. And then I made an advent for my husband that was beer. So then inside of his, you can see the 12 different beers that I got him that year. Uh, the number here is on a piece of transparency in between, so number 12, which I made to uh, mimic the 20 in the beginning. And then I've also got this little tag that pulls out and has some additional journaling on the backside of that. And then this one ends with a quote, it says, we're going to have the half, half happiest Christmas from Clark Griswold. And I did some embroidery stitching around the outside. Love, love these large full page quotes. Let me go ahead and put away volume one, and then I will be right back with volume two. All right, so volume two opens with a full page photo right here that's black and white. And this was actually a photo that we took in the fall of 2020. And on top of that, I have this Merry Christmas banner, which was an idea from Allie from Product Play 4. So I just took that, made it say Merry Xmas, Merry Christmas, and that could be my day or my volume two title. So we're going to jump right into the stories. Story number 13 is a Christmas memory from our childhood. This is a story I also tell every single year in my December daily. I have this Be Merry and Bright title here on the left. This was a total scrap lift of Laura Wanzik from Product Play 4, as was this uh, pocket here made with vellum circles that I heat embossed stuff on top of them to add some texture. So that totally came from her. Then in the um, 2020 prep day, Allie created this tree file where you could add a photo or a story underneath a portion of a tree. So I took this and I actually made two of them. One of them was for Aaron. So this is a story about his family watching the Christmas story. And then I have a different one that is for me. And for me, the story is with Polar Express. So I have the Polar Express photo and then journaling about the memory that I have associated to Polar Express. These two little tree booklets just go down inside of the pocket. And that is that for story 13. Story number 14 is about our gingerbread houses. We do gingerbread houses every year. I have a full page photo with my number on the left side. The right side, I did a texture pasted background with pink stars. I also backed a gingerbread cut file from Paige Evans. And then on the inside of this, so I just stitched it down around three sides to make it a pocket. And then I've added in this gingerbread and then some journaling about our gingerbread. And then I've got some additional photos from putting together our gingerbread houses. So these all go down inside of the gingerbread house cut file pocket, like so. 
This next one is one that's pretty intricate and I really like it. I got the idea from, from Kasha Gage, my friend, who did something with puzzles in a previous year. What I thought I could do is create a frame that the puzzle could be built inside of. So I've got this puzzles and Netflix equals love and I've got some journaling here about the puzzle. And then inside of this vellum pocket, um, I've got pieces of an actual puzzle that build a picture of an actual puzzle. So um, let me see if I can quickly put some of these down so you can see what I mean. So um, you can actually build the, the puzzle back inside of the frame, like so, right? And all the pieces go in until it forms the full photo. So this is a really fun way to create a page in like a really, really creative way. Um, I love that she shared, that Kasha shared her puzzle page because that totally inspired this one. Story 16 is about an ornament. So every year I pick an ornament off of our tree and I tell its origin story. For this one, I'm telling the story of my Santa head here, which... Um, you know, some people think is creepy and some people think is cool. I am in the um, this is cool bucket. And what I did is I added my journaling on the acetate here so you can read it through the transparency with the 16. I've got the um, the star here. Again, this was another, I believe this was another one I did for the product play for class. And then the photo just goes behind it. Story 17 is all about our crafts from the holiday season. The pocket that goes with the full page photo, this was created during the prep day party in 2020. This is the one that Tashi put together and then she walked me through it live over, um, over the course of an hour. So inside of the pocket, what I added were a couple of tags. So I've got lots of different tags that have story on them. And those all go in the back pocket and then in the front pocket I have all of the different um, crafts that we did so there's a whole bunch of them some of them are like little tag booklets and some of them are just one-offs but they go with the um, journaling tags from behind so that's where all of that is held Story number 18 is about a holiday Christmas party I threw for our home school. Um, I've got Izzy and her friend Ryan here in this little frame to the left. And then I've just got a couple of different pictures from the things that we did that day. Some journaling here on the middle card. Another photo from, I believe this was a scavenger hunt that we were doing. And then um, a filler page that I made with the circle transparencies from last year. So this really has no purpose except to be filler, I suppose. Day 19 was about uh, planning on cooking and having plans go awry. So I've got five different cards in here that all have the story. So there's a lot of story to be told. So I've got memory one, memory two. Some of them have photos that go along with it. Um, this is almost like a day in the life type of story. They go into the craft pocket that I've got embellished with my number 19. And then on the back, I've got photos of the cookies that we made. So there's some here, one on the circle here. And then this actually opens up and has more photos I believe this was Morgan Beale who put this together where I got the inspiration from and that was also product play from product play four. Story number 20, is this 20? I think, is about movies. Yes, 20 is about movies. So for this one, I've got a tag cluster up here with my number in it. I've got this frame here from Tim Holtz that I added the finding magic in the smallest moments. This flips open, shows our new movie we got the we got last year from Mary, a little bit of journaling about watching movies. And then these were all of our favorite movies from the season that we watched. And then I also put the dates that we watched them on the back. So that was pretty fun. Story number 21. Um, this was an idea from Allie Edwards, Product Play 4. 
I included tags for all four of us. I always do some kind of story like this where we all have our ugly sweaters. So this has our information on the front and then the pictures of us in our ugly sweaters um, on the back. So that's that. They all have their little ribbons at the top and um, they go down inside the pocket. Pretty easy peasy. Story 22 was about creating some handmade ornaments. So I've got the picture over here and then my heart opens up and has another photo in here and then journaling about actually putting the ornaments together. This heart was created using the template from Allie, from Allie Edwards uh, product play four. So lots of ideas from this album came out of that classroom. The backside here, I'm talking about doing our annual Christmas Adam party over Zoom. So I've got some of the bits and pieces from the party, the Zoom loading up on the iPad in my 23. And then I used this idea from Allie, again, Product Play 4, where I included some photos. So on this side, I included photos of the kids talking to Santa. And I actually have a QR code where we can go and watch the... Um, the video of the kids talking to Santa. And then on the back, I have photos from the Christmas Adam party and then some journaling about that. Day 24 is Christmas Eve. For this one, I took a lesson from Laura Wanzik. This was also product play for uh, to create a felted tree. I made mine flip up a couple of different times so that I could include photos in here from throughout the day of Christmas Eve. And then on the back side, I've got a picture of us reading The Night Before Christmas. And then I've got this grid, which I believe came from Product Play One, I think, uh, from Allie Edwards. And I added in some of the textural elements here and then used these six spots to talk about six different things pertaining to Christmas Eve. The uh, boxes, by the way, are stitched with red thread. Um, I end my Christmas Eve story with a picture of my kids looking out the window. I added this quote that says, may you never be too old to search the skies on Christmas Eve. And I stapled on the um, shaker pocket stars. For Christmas Day, I've got a 3 by 8 transparency with 25 and Home for Christmas here. Uh, these, again, are from Clarecast Designs, or they were from last year. Then I open with a picture of our whole family in front of the Christmas tree. A couple of little embellishments here at the bottom. My uh, Christmas Day, a lot of my photos or a lot of my story is inside of this um, page that I made look like a present that you could open. So it just unvelcros. This is paper. I made that with paper. When you open it up, I've got some stories about the morning. I used the prompt today. I noticed dot, 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 picture of my kids. And then um, over here, this one's a fun one. I wanted to document the presents that we were getting, that we either got or were getting. So I created these ornaments with, um, some cork paper. I added our names on there that I cut out on the silhouette and then some greenery that I cut out on the silhouette. And then I created a booklet of the different things that we got. So like this would have been Aaron's presents from last year. Um, just a bunch of the different things that he got from either me or from the kids. So I have one of those for each of us. There's one for Aaron, me, Isabella, and Jonah. And then I did add another photo or embellishment to the backside so that we could see like my father-in-law coming to see the kids through the door, the kids opening presents virtually with my husband's family, and then going over to visit my parents on Christmas Day. Last year, we made the decision to only see one side of our family since COVID was so bad at the time. I've got a picture of my dad and Aaron clinking glasses of whiskey and uh, put this look at the magic all around you at the top. And then um, I finish my album by adding in this holiday checklist. This would have been from Paper Person last year and a December calendar, which I like to do every year. And I included a photo from every single day of the month. So all the way to the 31st. Then on the back of that, I've got a page that I dedicate to gratitudes. 
So inside of these little mini envelopes, um, pull out these little cards that are stamped one through six and have six things that I am grateful for from either the year or from the December season. And those stay inside of those. And then I have a flip book here of Mary, our elf, and all the places that she stayed. So you can see the pictures of her from every single day and then a little bit about where she was or what we did for that day when she visited. So I've got all 24 days here in that little flip book. And then the back of this ends with one more quote that says, and even this year we can make magic. This I embroidered on white paper and then I trimmed it out and adhered it on top of this, um, this paper from the previous day and called that good. So that, my friends, is my 2020 December Daily Album. It is very, very chunky. There's a lot of texture in here, a lot of dimension in here, um, which, you know, really, I probably could have gone into a third album and not just done the two. This year, I'm planning to not have as much dimension and bulk in there so I can get all 31 stories into two albums without it being ridiculous like this. So we'll see how I do. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the flip through of these two volumes of my 2020 December daily. If you have, I would love a thumbs up down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can see all of my future crafty videos. I am working on editing and creating a blog post for the second uh, volume of my foundation pages for 2021. So keep an eye out for those. Those should be coming, if not today, then tomorrow. Uh, so you'll see all 31 days prepped and ready to go. And then, um, you know, I will be here a couple times a week throughout the week to share my December daily stories with you, including the journaling. And I that's one thing I will mention too, is if you want to hear any more about the stories, uh, the journaling, what I actually wrote about, I do read my journaling with every single uh, video that I create during the month of December. So make sure to check those out in order to hear the stories read aloud. Otherwise, you can find them on Instagram as well in the images. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And uh, until next time, I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Cannot wait to create with you this December and let the magic begin. See you next time, friends. Bye now.